you and our thoughts and prayers are with uh, those folks in, in Berlin. All right, uh, our guest right now, the one and only Ed Martin uh, from the Phyllis Schlafly Center. And uh, Ed, how are you, my friend? I'm good, Mark. Good to be with you. Uh, Merry Christmas to you. And uh, I'm sorry to hear those stories, but um, uh, it's uh, world is crazy. Sometimes. It is. It is definitely crazy. You you had the unique opportunity to speak to some of the men and women uh, representing Missouri's electors today. Yeah, I did actually. It was very nice of them to invite me. I think. Uh, uh, I, I spoke to nine out of the ten. In fact, uh, just a few minutes from now, they'll be uh, uh, undertaking their process right here in the Capitol uh, in Jefferson City. Uh, but uh, I was invited by one of them to come down. They were having lunch and uh, visit a little bit. I think it was partly uh, out of respect for the role, of course, that my old uh, boss, the late Phyllis Schlafly, had in helping elect Trump. And also uh, she wrote a lot about uh, about uh, the um uh, electoral college so it was interesting so it was nice i did uh speak with him visit with him and i spoke for i don't know 10 or 15 minutes on some of those histories and uh great group and i think there's uh, and i saw no reason to think that they're going to do anything other than be faithful electors and cast their vote according to the uh decision of the people and i think we'll see that happen in the yeah. next few minutes did you i mean did you have a chance to speak individually with any of them ed about yeah, some of I what did, they I faced did. i was trying to remember i just was talking actually mark with my wife i i don't remember if i spoke to every one of them there were nine out of the ten that were there i spoke to many of them though but i the esprit de corps in the room was not uh one of um uh anything other than we're voting for trump and that's where our electors uh our, our citizens elected you know selected us to do and and I didn't sense anything from anybody that they were going to uh, engage in that kind of uh, behavior. That they're no. not voting according to that. So I, I don't think we're going to see that headline out of Missouri. There may be other states where that's a factor, but not here. Well, what a shame, though. I mean, what's your reaction to some of the death threats and the hundreds of, of letters and the thousands of emails and harassment these folks have been taking the past two weeks? Well, you know, a couple of things. One is, um, I, you know, you and I both, I think, you know, we're friends and we do a lot of this for a living. I mean, we talk about this. It's one thing to do to say it's dumb and really a disservice. It's another thing to see somebody who tells you that they got, you know, tens of thousands of emails. And I, I, you know, one of the women said she thought it was in the tens of thousands. They're getting mail. One of the, another uh, elector in Utah who I spoke to this morning said the mailman came on Saturday and said, you're going to have to come pick your mail up. There's too many letters. And, you know, I, I have to say, I don't think the letters and emails are saying, hey, way to go. You're a thoughtful, good person. They're saying the opposite. And look, at the end of the day, Mark, we're either a country, I don't want to sound like Trump, we're either a country that has laws and rules and stability, or we're just a lawless place. And what these people are arguing for is not just sour grapes. They're arguing for a kind of lawlessness that doesn't make any sense if you're remotely thoughtful. So it's a disservice and all that. I did tell this group, I said, congratulations on being uh, in history. I mean, you know, today, Donald Trump will receive enough electoral votes that he will be one step closer to the presidency, and I think that really saved America in a dramatic way. So uh, it's pretty darn exciting. That's fantastic. Ed, you, you've uh, certainly been around Jeff City in the state long enough to maybe have been down there during a prior electoral event. What's the, what's the mood in the Capitol? I, I spoke with someone earlier who said there's more security there than he's seen when, when, the, <laughs> the, when they're in session. Yeah. Yeah, I will say this. I think that they're being very careful. Uh, the electors I was with, we actually had lunch together. When they left, they did get uh, escorted to the Capitol. They were headed over to the building by uh, by state police in some special vans. Uh, the, the sheriff, who's a great guy, Greg White of Cole County, uh, was with them and, and had given them a briefing on what to expect. Now, the protesters, I mean, this is great about America. We allow protesters. They there were protesters outside the Capitol. I drove past them. There were maybe a hundred less. It's a cold day. I think that was pretty impressive, actually. And uh, you know, I think um, I think that everybody now, in light of the news, maybe it's really wise. Everybody is is using the old ounce of prevention, right, yeah. and being careful uh, what they're doing. But uh, you know, I, I, all in all, I think again, it's a credit to America that we do these things this way and so well. And um, it does feel a little bit more secure than other times. I agree with you, Mark. There's a <laughs> sense that everybody's being a little more careful. But again, um, it seems also kind of respectful. I, I you know, I, I think the organized protests, they had placards that were clearly professionally done. You know, that's a, that's a movement of the Clinton, you know, hanging on It's a, and all that. It's, it's okay. It's, uh, I think it's a little silly. And I think when it gets to be death threats, it's a disservice. But Otherwise, we'll just go through it and get the votes, and we'll we'll go on with the the day. You know, I, go on I, with the process. Yeah, I can't help but to hearken back to 
four years ago and eight years ago and right, all of the Republicans right. who were protesting in the streets and crying on the sidewalks, not because none of that happened. And you look right. at how some of these folks are acting now and you would you'd think that, uh, you know, the end of the world happened November 8th. Well, I mean, look, that's the best part of this. Let's say it like this. Let's say it positively. I'm glad it's not 272 to 268 where somebody could be really in a position to change it. It's a landslide electoral college wise. But also four years from now or eight years from now or 12 years from now, a whole lot of Americans are going to have heard why the Electoral College matters, what it means. They're going to probably understand it better. And that's a good thing because it's a very, as I said, uh, again, I think to one of my buddies this morning, you know, the founding fathers knew that Rhode Island needed to have a pretty good stake in the game against Virginia because Virginia mm-hmm. was so powerful. And, you know, Pennsylvania, which was a backwater, needed to have something again, you know, to stand up to New York, which was a powerhouse. Now we've got to have a system that works so well, amazingly well, that allows, you know, little states like Wyoming to stand up and have a say compared to California. And same thing with Missouri and New York and all the rest. So it's a, maybe a teaching moment, as they say, and, and hopefully it'll be something good. But more importantly, I hope there's a lot of safety and people get their thing done. And they're proud to be involved. I think in Missouri we have that in our folks. Ed, Ed, do you get to be there in the chamber when this happens? No, they're, doing, they're not doing it in the chamber. They're doing it in the Senate lounge. I don't know oh, why, so okay. it's a little smaller space. I actually am going to kind of wait outside and uh, make sure to be able to help a couple of my friends that are here, electors, be able to get one of them has to get home quicker. So I'm not going to go in there. I'll probably watch uh, – watch the tape of it later but it's a smaller <laughs> setting i kind of wish it was in the senate chamber it would be a bigger crowd but uh, i'm going to defer to some others ed Martin-